Hey, this is Dexter. In this lesson, we will learn how to apply the laws of indices in solving exponent equations. We will also learn about solving problems in the real world using exponential and logarithmic functions. In part A, given that 14 to the power of 2x is equal to 2 to the power of 3 plus x, multiplied by 7 to the power of x minus 2, find the value of 14 to the power of x. In part B, the value of a car depreciates exponentially so that its value, t years after 1st of January 2001, is modeled by v is equal to a multiplied by e to the power of negative 0.1104t, where a is a constant. The initial value of the car is given to be $70,000. Mary has the intention of selling the car when the value falls below $42,000. Determine if Mary will sell a car in the year 2005. Pause to give this question a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. For the first part, we are to evaluate 14 to the power x from this exponent equation. Do note that we are not required to solve for x. To find the value of 14 to the power x, we need the laws of indices such that we can shift the unknown exponent x to the left and the constants to the right. When multiplying indices with the same base, we add the powers. The reverse will also be true. We can separate an index into a product of two indices with the same base. 2 to the power of 3 plus x would therefore be equivalent to the product of 2 to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of x. Likewise, 7 to the power of x minus 2 can be written as 7 to the power of x multiplied by 7 to the power of negative 2. Next, applying the same index law where a to the power of n times b to the power of n is equal to the product of a b to the power of n. We can simplify the product of 2 to the power of x and 7 to the power of x to be 14 to the power of x. Then, we shift the 14 to the power x to the left by dividing while keeping the constants on the right. Similarly, when dividing indices with the same base, we subtract the powers to give us the value of 14 to the power x to be 8 over 49. For the next part of the question, we can begin by replacing t to be 0 and v to be 70,000 as the initial value of the car was $70,000. Thus, constant a will be equal to 70,000. From here on, we will use only this equation where v is equal to 70,000 multiplied by e to the power of negative 0.1104t. The question continues by stating that the value v will fall below $42,000. We will now set v to be lesser than 42,000. Taking 42,000 and divide it by 70,000, we will have the right side of the inequality to be 0 0.6. Given an exponential form of y equal to e to the power of x, the logarithmic form will be x equals to log y to the base of e, where the exponent x is now the subject of the equation. Log y to the base of e can also be written as ln y, as this is also known as a natural logarithm. Thus, our exponent negative 0.1104t will be lesser than ln 0.6. Solving this inequality by dividing negative 0.1104, our t is found to be greater than 4.63 years. If we start counting from 1st of January 2001, 4.63 years will be sometime in the second half of year 2005. Thus, we conclude that Mary will sell a car in the year 2005. And that's the answer to this question.